Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you this really cool stitch. And um, as I show you, I'm going to teach you how to make one of these bangle wrist bracelets. You can make them in two rows or just one row or three rows. And you can make them as loose or as tight as you want. So for this project, you're going to need at least two different colors and a worst weight yarn um, four ply for the US and ten ply for Australia you're also going to need a tapestry needle to sew in your ends and you're going to need a five millimeter hook which is a size H hook for the US and a stitch marker and that's it that's all you're going to need so the color that you want for your main color, which is going to show up the most. So I'm going to call this your main color and this your secondary color. So whatever you want is your main color, which I'm going to do pink this time. It really does not take much at all to make this. But with this stitch, you can make a hat or anything you can think of. It's a really cool stitch. So this is worked in sets of two so if you're making a hat it's good to know that so what I'm gonna do for my bracelets uh, I was making a 30 chain so I'm gonna show you what I did so start off by chaining 30 with your 5 millimeter hook 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Once I'm done with my 30, I'm going to make sure that my chain isn't twisted and I'm going to attach it here below the two there's only one down the bottom and the other two is on top. I'm going to attach it there just in hopes that I'm going to have a more even connection. Like that. The slip stitch. And then now I'm going to go ahead and in that same stitch do a single crochet. And now you only want to work using the top. I'm trying to split it open here so you can see. There you go. You only want to use this top stitch, leaving the two other stitches at the bottom. I'm going to be working over my tail. And now you want to single crochet using those top stitches only all the way around. There are 30 stitches. Before I get too far away from my beginning, I'm going to go ahead and find my beginning stitch here. And I don't want to attach my marker there because when I attach my marker here it tends to pull it down so I'm going to go just a little higher on that stitch. Still getting that bottom on. There we go. Attach my marker there just so I know this is my first stitch. See, I attach just below the stitch itself, not down on this because it pulls it. So just continue the single crochet now all the way around. And you can count your stitches when you get to the end. Just making sure you continue to just get that top stitch only so that the bottom is staying stronger. Okay, I just got done single crocheting all the way around and I counted my stitches. I still have 30. Now, what you want to do, this is the first single crochet. What I do is I go in through the bottom of the single crochet to slip stitch. 
again it's to help it be an even surface here so once I do that I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to pull up I'm going to remove my marker here get your other color your secondary color make your slip knot And then to the left, the stitch here to the left of the connection, you want to go ahead and attach your yarn by slip stitching and then chain one. Then now we're going to start our puff stitches. So what you want to do is yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull up the loop, yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull up a loop, you should have five, now you yarn over, pull up a loop, you have seven, then you pull through all seven loops, and then chain one. Now we're going to want to skip a stitch, go into the next, so yarn over, I'm going to be working over my tail here. Pull up a loop, then you want to yarn over, pull up a loop, five on your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, seven, pull through all seven loops, and chain one. Again, skip a stitch, go into the next, and I'll show you this one in slow motion.
and you just want to continue to do this puff stitch chain one all the way around until you get back to the beginning skip a stitch and then do a puff stitch two three chain one skip a stitch one two three slip stitch all, I mean <laughs> pull through all the loops chain one continue to do this all the way around okay uh, I have 30 puff stitches you may have less depending on how uh, many chains you did at the beginning um, like I said do it in sets of twos 26 28 whatever okay when you get to the end you want to push this back if it'll let you let me elongate the hoop a little bit more there we go okay you want to slip stitch in this first puff stitch so just find that top stitch here there we go then just slip stitch and then you want to chain one and now you want to elongate that loop and find your original loop back here. Sometimes it helps if you want to just kind of flip your your bracelet around so you can get your your two yarns from being twisted. Okay. So what I want to do now is go ahead and chain one and now the stitch that's in to the left this puff stitch here right there I'm gonna go ahead and go into that I'm going in through the same row as I did the puff stitches just to the left kinda like I did you do the thick mesh stitch go through that one to the side pull up a loop and then single crochet. Then you want to chain one. Again, all the last row, just like the mesh, thick mesh stitch, you skipped a stitch. Now that's the stitch we'll be working in. So go into that stitch we skipped from last round and single crochet and chain one.
and you just want to continue to single crochet in, in those skip stitches one row down and chain one. And you can see how now it's filling in in between. Now, when you get to the end here, this was the first single crochet that we did. This is the first stitch of it kind of behind it because remember we chained one and then we pulled up to do our so that's the stitch that you want to slip stitch into now if you only wanted to make a bracelet this small then you can skip on until I get done and I'll show you how to finish it off if not then you can stick with me now there's two options that you can do here one is you can do the same color here again or you can do what I did here, which is use the main color as the puff stitch and then continue on like that. So I'm going to show you the biggest um, in this tutorial, but I can show you real quick how I did this one. If you want to do the one like this, then what you do is you'll do like you did last time. You'll just elongate that loop. And then you'll grab your other color back here and do the same thing as you did before. You want to chain one and then this elongated uh, single crochet, there's a stitch here just to the right of it. That's the stitch you're going to be working your puff stitches into. So just continue to make your puff stitch and that stitch with this color. And then you chain one move on and again you want to do because there's two stitches one or two you want to do the one on the left closest to the single crochet so anyway if you want this color continue to do it that way but I'm going to show you how to make this one in this tutorial so I'm going to back up and I undid my chain I did there I still have a chain here you're just going to do a chain two when you need to use the okay since I'm going to continue on with my main color what I'm going to do now is I'm already here above the stitch that I need to do a puff stitch so I'm just going to go ahead and do my first puff stitch right here next to the single crochet so pull up do it three times again like you did before pull through all seven loops chain one. We're going to be skipping this stitch. See, like I said, there's two stitches here. Skip one stitch and then again here. So yarn over, yarn over, and yarn over. That's three times. Pull through all loops. Chain one. And I'll show you in slow motion.
and you just want to continue to make your puff stitches with whatever color you chose whether it be the same one here or this one just continue to make your puff stitches the same way until you get back to the end again okay I'm here on my end I'm going to go ahead and put one more puff stitch here chain one slip stitch into the top that puff stitch chain one and pull up because now we're going to be working our other color I'm going to twist mine around to try to untangle my yarn okay now we need to go and grab our other color and chain one just to bring it up some Oops. okay again we want to start right where we are so go down into the stitch to the right of our puff stitch and do a single crochet and chain one and again going to be going to the stitch to the left of the puff stitch which is just kind of cat a corner to the other single crochet we did down below and I'm just going down kind of in the puff stitch area because there's two sections I'm going down into that doing a single crochet chain one And you just want to continue to do this all the way around. It's much shorter round, just doing a few, 15 uh, for me, 15 single crochets, chain one, get back up to the end here okay got one spot in between here we're going to do also okay we want to just again you want to fold this part back so that you can make your slip stitch back here in that chain space we did okay now we want to chain one and again, I'm going to be using this color again, and I'm in the space I need to start my puff stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull up a loop, and hope it didn't get stuck, and then pull through all seven loops and chain one. And again, skip a stitch, go into the stitch by the single crochet that we did last round 
and I'm going to continue to work puff stitches all the way around. Just like I did on the other rows. Nothing different here. I'll see you when you get back up to the front again. Okay, I'm back up to my beginning again. I'm going to slip stitch in the top of my first puff stitch. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go ahead and get my scissors here. Cut. Cut enough of a tail just to be able to work in with your tapestry needle because it's really important. You don't want to. Uh, have it all loose, my tail coming out. I'm going to thread my tapestry needle just so I don't have this tail getting in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and hide it now. Just going to go down behind my puff stitches and then down between my single crochet, this thicker part here. You can take it down as far as you want. I think that's good enough. Don't pull too tight. Then you just want to pull a little bit, tug on it. And just leaving yourself just an itty bitty tail there, just in case it gets tugged on a little more. Okay. Now we're left with our main color to finish this up with. Okay. So, we want to go ahead and chain one. And again, the space that's right underneath us has two spaces, one and two. We're going to go in. I'm going to go down just straight down here. Okay, we're going to be working in this one because this one obviously is being blocked. So we're going to be going to the left. So I'm going to come down in this stitch to the left and then do my single crochet there. And again, you can go by this. Go into that stitch to the left of it, just single crochet, chain one. And you just want to continue to do this all the way around. Then I'll show you how to finish up your bracelet here. depending on what size you made, one row, two rows, or three rows like this one, it'll be the same how you end it. Slip stitch in the back of the first single crochet, and then you want to chain one, and in the same stitch do a single crochet. Then do another single crochet into the next four stitches over, So we have five total, one, two, three, four, five. And now we want to do a decrease, single crochet decrease. Go on through one, pull up a loop, go on through the next, pull up a loop, pull through all three loops. Then again, you want a single crochet in the next five stitches. And then again, do a single crochet decrease.
and it doesn't matter what size bracelet that you're making just continue to single crochet in the next five two three four five and then do a single crochet decrease because this side here is always going to be tighter the chain side is always going to be tighter than the stitch side stitch side will always have more stretch this is why we're doing our decreases so that it evens it up and tightens up the band a little so again single crochet in the next five five and then do a single crochet decrease single crochet again in the next five two three four okay can't four good enough or if you have two or three it doesn't matter it's not terribly important just single crochet into the last stitch and then when you get back here to the beginning slip stitch into your beginning single crochet now you want to chain one and now we're going to start our crab stitch to do a crab stitch it's just like a single crochet except you're working to the right instead of to the left so this is our next stitch so I'm going to go in through this stitch pull up a loop pull through two loops go into the next stitch pull up a loop two loops on the hook pull through both loops Just keep on doing that all the way around. It's pretty easy. It's going to clean it up to where you don't have that stitch look on the end of your bracelet. Or if you're making a hat, you can do this also on the brim or the rim of any hat or whatever you decide to use this stitch for. This one's kind of a checkered pattern. Okay, now I got one stitch left and I like to not uh, crab stitch into that. I just go into it and slip stitch pull it tight then chain one and then cut your yarn long enough to work in with a tapestry needle now get your main color on your hook again flip over your project and I'm going to start here 
same place I ended, just opposite. Find a place to attach our yarn. I'm going to go ahead and um, single crochet it on. And then go into the next stitch to the left. Start your craft stitches this way. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you. You can work over your tails doing the craft stitch too. Just push them to this side. Push it to the left instead of to the right. And you can work over it just like you would if it was going the other direction. I know these bottom stitches are much harder to work into. But try to find a place to stick it. And if you find it's, you know, too close to do the next stitch, then you can skip one. Just try to keep them as even as you can. And someone's hammering in the background. That's one place about living in this city I live in. There's always noise in the background. Surprised the kids are not playing. It's been raining the last few days, so maybe they're hiding the kids away from the mud. Okay, I'm getting on to my last stitch here. Here's my last stitch. Again, I don't want to crap stitch into that one. Just going to slip stitch, pull it till it's tightened some, chain one, and then again, cut it a little bit of a tail to work in with your tapestry needle. And again, we want to we'll just flip it inside out, probably easier to work with. Um, go in through the color that you're w working with. Feed it down the line. Tug on a little. Cut it with just a little bit of a tail still there. In case somebody tugs on it more. Do the same with this one. Oops, on the other side. There we go. Feed it down from the top to that row. There we go. And I have no idea what to call this stitch. Pup stitch, single crochet, checkered stitch. I don't know if you have an idea. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think, and I'll change the name of the video. But for now, I hope that you like your bracelets, and that maybe you uh, can find um, other things to make with this stitch. Like I said, I'd love to see it as a hat. I bet it would be awesome. So, this has been the tutorial for the, the bangle, and I hope that you liked it and that yours comes out just as good as mine. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching. And if you're new to see this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And please like and share this video. Thanks for watching.